Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Donald Trump created the birther issue long before he became a candidate for the Republican nomination. He knew exactly what he was doing, and he stoked that issue, and he parlayed that issue above the 16, 17 people running in the, in the primary, Republican primary, and he won fair and square the majority of the Republican votes based on the birther issue. And so he became the Republican nominee for president of this country, and he has continued to stoke the fires of polarization and divisiveness based on the birther issue and extended to other issues. And even to this day, 56 days before the election, he continues to parlay this birther issue to, to suck everything he can out of it for his own benefit, even come to Washington, D.C. today, while the Congressional Black Caucus is hosting its annual legislative conference with thousands of African Americans in attendance, just down the block, he's still dealing with the Bertha issue, playing with it, toying with people's sensitivities, and blowing the, the dog whistle to his minions, to his supporters. And America, are we gonna let Donald Trump use this issue all the way through November the 8th? Because I'm gonna tell you that's what he's gonna do. If you don't think that he's finished with it today, then I got some land for you in Florida. <laughs> this man is gonna parlay, he's gonna continue to use this Bertha issue and all of the other innuendos that derive from it to divide Americans against each other and to keep from talking about the real issues of concern to Americans. I mean, here we are today in this policy conference and we're having to deal with Donald Trump's birthday issue. And the press, I know that you all were there at, he's a master entertainer. It's, it's hard to resist uh, what he has to offer. And so the press has been there. We appreciate you all coming here to hear our views about what's really important for America. Because what's good for one of us is good for all of us. And it's time for us not to be divided it's time for us to come together, do what's in the best interest of this country, our great democracy. The freedom that we enjoy here is under assault by Donald Trump and the forces that would elect him if we let them. So I want to thank everyone for being here today to get the message out that there's more to life than entertainment, than reality TV, reality campaigning, which is what Donald Trump is all about. We're here to take care of the nation's business, yes. to deal with Zika, yes. to deal with gun violence, yes. to deal with Flint, Michigan, and lead in the pipes throughout this country, to deal with our infrastructure. Those are issues that are so important. Fundamental and comprehensive tax reform to get those big corporations paying their fair share of the tax dollars so that the burden doesn't fall on the backs of middle class people. Those are the issues that we should be talking about. Those are the issues that Donald Trump needs to be held accountable to during this first debate and on into the uh, remainder of the election. So thank you all.